Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. I've got my last haul video uh, for a while because I told you guys I was going on a hard no buy, and um, I ordered these polishes from the Polish Pickup before the hard no buy was in effect. So I thought I would go ahead and start. Oh, let me see, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I got seven this time. Now, Polish Pickup is a monthly deal. There's like an open window one weekend that you can order polishes. You pick the polishes you want. You pick how many you want. If you want one or if you want 60, whatever, you um, you get to pick them. And they have a theme every month and the shipping is only $3. So that is really cool. You get to try polishes from all sorts of different indie makers um, and you'll get to see a sampling of it here today. They have anywhere between like 60 to 100 different indie makers that contribute every month. So that is really nice because you can get out there and try a lot of different brands without having to go to each individual site and pay shipping on them. Plus the spot, the polishes that they release in these um, sales are, you know, they're limited edition. So I'm going to start with what I ordered. This is on my nails. This one is by Stashed Polish and it is called the Philosopher's Stone. I know nobody's surprised that I had to have that one. Harry Potter reference. And then I got this LE polish. And it's just... Okay, I didn't really show that one off. You know, it's on my nails, so it kind of got spotlighted that way. But this one is just so pretty. This is the year of the Chrome Flakies, I swear. It started last year, and it's just on high tilt. So this one's called I Want to Suck Your Bloodstone. It's just gorgeous. I'd never tried this brand either, so that's why I got that one. Now, I have tried a lot of Colors by La Roe, and I love Colors by La Roe. Some of the best indie polish out there. Look at this yummy. Yummy, yummy. Oh, my goodness. This one, it was a toss-up between these two reds. This one's called Rubies for JoJo. Rubies for JoJo. J-O-J-O. -J -O. Little focus. But I'm really, really excited to wear that one. My birthstone's ruby, so I had to have that one. Now I have a Fair Maiden polish, and I think I've only got maybe one other one. And Dianae's. Who will even pick it up? I believe this was another Harry Potter reference or something like that. I don't know. All I know is it was pretty and it was calling to me. And I know you're seeing a little bit of a theme here going on with these, but... Yeah, that's that one, Fair Maiden. And then I've got this um, Pretty Jelly. I've never tried theirs either. Now look at this craziness. This is what really started it. It was like, what? This one's called Stairway to Heaven. So, um... <laughs> and then I have a blush lacquer. Now I've got a, uh, two or three maybe blush lacquers. And this one's called A Moon Across the Sea. And I also have um, problems turning down polishes that have the word moon in them. Isn't that pretty? And then the last one I have is from Miss Sparkle. And I've never tried any polishes from this brand either. So, look at that. Ah, love it. And this one is called Harlequin Black Opal. Now, as you can see, I had like a flaky love affair going on this time. I, I don't know, you know, sometimes it's like that when I go buy polishes. So, that is what I picked up from the polish pickup. I do not have any plans on buying anything from them this go around, but I will leave a link down below um, for you to go check them out if you would like to. Um, they're just, it's a really neat deal. I just think that that's so cool to be able to, you know, pick out what you want. And, you know, it's, it's cool. So, anywho, that is what I picked up this go-around. And I hope you enjoyed seeing these. If there's anything in particular you'd like to see me, you know, do a manicure with, just give me a shout down in the comments. And I will try to get to that one soon. So, until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.